So, have you ever gone to sleep, of course, and uh, you had a very long dream, very beautiful dream? And in that dream, whatever it is you saw in your dreams, everything looked real. Everything looked as real as it could be. And then, of course, you woke up. Then you went out, of course, uh, with your normal day. You went out of the house to do your normal routine. Only for you to realize that actually most of the people you see around you, they almost seem like they're moving robots. So they're asleep. And then you're figuring out that, wow, how, can, how, how is it possible that, uh, you know, I'm the only one who can see this, you know what I mean? It's like a lot of people around you, the people you see on a daily basis, it looks as if they're walking in some kind of a pattern and it looks as if everybody's sleepwalking. And it's finally, it's finally clear to you the vision in front of you, you can clearly see everybody around you, they are sleepwalking. Nobody seems to know what they are doing, they are just moving in patterns, and you can almost see all these patterns. Now, that's not a coincidence eventually. It's just because you are awakened, and eventually, you are a chosen one. Why? Because you are the only one who gets it. You are the only one who can see it, you are the only one who understands it. And in this video, I'm going to bring, you, bring to you some of the obvious signs you will experience as a chosen one. Let's go. So I remember those days, in the early days of my waking process, my, my early days of awakening. I remember, I remember walking out of my house. So there was a, there was this guy who used to live in a few yards away from my home. All of a sudden, I see I, I see this guy. He opened the door. He opens the door. He picks up his working uh, working gears and everything. He runs to his car. So I walked on. And I reached the bus stop because normally those days I used to have spiritual practices. I used to come around in the mornings, very, very early in the mornings. I used to come around and uh, I used to like earthing and connecting this and that. So I used to like to come out, to come out and breathe, breathe in, uh, you know, that morning fresh air, the morning freshness. So I saw this guy came out of the house. He picked up the working gear, jumped in his car. So I went on at the bus stop. I saw this particular individual standing in that stop waiting for their bus. Then I reached the park and I, I saw this particular old man who was always walking with his dog in that same spot. Now, of course, in the first day, I was like, well, this is one of them days. He said, it's not a while. It's, uh, it might be a coincidence. So I brushed it off. The next day, I came back. I walked out of my house. That same guy opened that door at that particular time, rushed to his car. In a few yards, I met those particular individuals in the bus stop. In the park, I met that particular old man walking with his dog. I was like, okay, now it's starting to make sense. The third day, it happened again. The fourth day, it happened again. And the fifth day, it happened again. Then I was like, okay, now I get it. So I could figure out that there was this kind of a, a, a roller coaster that uh, particular individuals would follow each and every single day, most importantly, for the rest of their lives. As a chosen one, you will also understand that uh, a lot of people are living in some kind of a, uh, a cycle. They're involved in some kind of a cycle, and it, it doesn't matter what they do, it is almost impossible to jump out of that cycle. It is almost impossible to break away from that cycle. So you will see particular patterns in this universe each and every single day, repeated patterns. It may not necessarily be about you. It may necessarily be, around, be with the people that are around you. So you will see people following a certain kind of cycle for years. If not, even sometimes for decades, and even sometimes those kind of cycles you will notice as a chosen one, that those particular individuals, they can never wake up wake up and get out of those cycles, so they will continue to live those cycles for the rest of their lives. So you may, you may be out there and you're wondering, why is it that you are, you, you are the only one who can see this? You know what I mean? It's like you, you see all these patterns around you. It is like, for example, getting out of your house and is, uh, getting out of, out of your house and starting your day. And then all of a sudden you feel like you're in this very, very big video game. You know what I mean? It's like a video game. The life is like a video game. You know the characters in that video game. You know that they're going to go from A to B. They've already, they've, they've, the video game has already been pre-programmed. You know what I mean? So you know the character that if I take this car, it is going to go to that direction. If I drive that car in the video game, it's going to go to that direction. And then you will meet particular people in that bar. You come back to your car, you will go this way, you meet particular people. So you're going to see these particular 
patterns in the universe that are playing out in front of you and most of the times the life is usually going to feel as if you are in a very very big very very big video game and you can almost recognize all the characters that is characters in that video game so it will also come to you as, as a chosen one that uh you also be open up to understand that the life that we live we have always lived is an illusion so you are stuck in that kind of illusion which which makes you believe that oh you're doing the right thing you know you wake up brush your teeth drink a coffee jump into your car go to work work particular hours come back home take a shower eat sleep wake up the next morning the same pattern the other morning the same pattern in the weekend of course maybe you have a day off you know that okay on the weekend i'm going to go shopping i'll clean the house i'll wash my clothes i'll do this so you can see all these kind of patterns that are going on with different individuals in this universe and it is almost unbelievable that nobody else can recognize these patterns only you so as a chosen one number one you get it you're the glitch in the matrix so you understand that there is very very serious patterns that people are trapped in some kind of a cycle and for some reason they can never get out of the cycle so that brings to the that brings us to the point that as a chosen one you're awakened you're fully awakened because now you can see all these dynamics playing in front of you you can recognize them and as a chosen one who has awakened you're able to break out of those cycles and start creating different things for yourself because at the end of the day you realize you do not come here to move in a cycle you do not come here to do, to move in some kind of a roller coaster moving you from one place to another and at the end of the day you're coming back to where you've started you're breaking out of those cycles because you have awakened from them you started to create something different because you need more and you want more in life Another example I can give you as a chosen one, uh, so one of the things that you may experience along your journey, you may also notice that uh, uh, for some reason, you don't fit in. Now, let me tell you something. This is a major one. Uh, fitting in, you might have awakened to the fact that you never fitted in. You, you never fitted in since the beginning of your life. But at some point when you wake up, you realize that actually you understand why you never fitted in. That is because at some point, you, your life was supposed to move a completely different direction, a direction that nobody is willing to take. So if you, if you, if you chose one out there, you always look back in your life and you'll notice that actually for, for very many different kinds of reasons, you have always struggled to fit in. It doesn't matter what you try to do. It did, not, it, did, it did not matter whether you were in churches, you were in school, you were in your families. We have, already, we, have, we have always been talking about the black sheep, the curse of the black sheep. You have been a black sheep in your family. You have never fitted into that family. It does not matter what you do. Your brothers wanted clubbing. Your brothers wanted this. They were doing drugs. The, some of them were going into prostitution. A lot of things were happening in those those families. You refused to participate because those th those those things you almost recognize that they were not for you, even in schools. I remember when I was in school. So back in the days when I was in school, I nobody I, I, I nobody didn't I nobody didn't like to you didn't like to be noticed. So I was a very, very shy little guy. So I used, to be, I used to be that kind of guy who used to sit at the back of the class. So when the classes were starting, we would get in, and I would always go to go at the, go at the back of the class. Because I wanted to have a bird's eye view of what is going on in the class. I wanted to see exactly what was happening in the class. You know what I mean? So I, for some reason, I don't know why, intuitively, I just something just tell me, hey, listen, go and sit at the back and just watch everything, everything from a distance. I never wanted to be noticed. Most of the times you will see a lot of... Uh, the teacher would come around and they'll ask questions. Oh, what is this? And people will raise their hands and answer the questions and things like that. But when the teacher always chose me, when, when I decided to put up my hand or when I came out to the front to, to give a certain presentation, there is one thing I noticed. My presentation was, was always different than the other presentation the other guys gave. So always I noticed that I was a different individu individu individual ever since I was a kid. None of the things that I used to do I would fit in. It was difficult. It was impossible for me to fit in. So it was one of the things that the chosen ones you always experience that no matter what you, what you have done in your life, no matter how, how hard you've tried in your life, you have always failed to fit in. Which also, which, also, which, also, which also brings us to the third one, being misunderstood. So as a chosen one, it is always going to happen in your life that you're always going to be misunderstood. It does not matter whether you have awakened before awakening and after awakening you are always going to be misunderstood because a lot of people around you they will never understand what you're doing they'll never understand what you're saying they cannot speak your language they cannot understand anything about even a little clue of what it is that you're trying to do what it is that you're trying to say so as a chosen one always you are going to be misunderstood it's, it is part of the process because at the end of the day you are here to create something different 
So it is not a coincidence that, coincidence that you're, you're speaking about things or you're doing some things that people don't understand. Your language is very different and most of the times even sometimes it's scary for some of the individuals. Which is, which is the reason why sometimes you will see a lot of family members, they will try to avoid you. So they will almost not understand you. So they will avoid you at some point because they will think you're crazy, you don't know what you're doing, you don't know what you're saying because they're used to different kinds of patterns. So as a chosen one also you'll be misunderstood on your journey along a path. Another sign that you're chosen one I can talk about I think is that um, your life has always been the hardest. Each and every single day it was a struggle. You wake up in your day every single day and you feel as if there's nothing, there's nothing, it's like, it's like there's nothing you put your hands on is working. It is nothing, there is nothing that you put your hands to is working out in your favor. Everything almost you touch, it looks as if life is impossible. It is almost impossible to drag yourself to the next level. One step forward always brought you two steps backwards. You move two steps forward, always you came back three steps backwards. So always, your life has always been going in that kind of a way but you can almost figure out that you cannot move to the next level. It is like very, very difficult. Your life has always been extremely complicated and difficult. Challenges after challenges, but for some reason as a chosen one, you have always overcome those challenges. No matter how hard they came, no matter how many times you fell, you always rose and you came back to the top and even did better than you did before. So most of the, time, most of the times you have realized as a chosen one that in your life, you have been brought down so many times. You have been beaten down so many times. You've been abused, you've been bullied, you've been everything, everything has happened in your life. But for some reason, it does not matter how hard you fell. Guys, let me tell you something. It doesn't matter as a chosen one how hard you've fallen along your path. You have always gotten back the pieces. You stood up, you tried again. And most of the times, you even succeeded. So it's not a coincidence that uh, a chosen one has got a life that is different from the, the rest of the people around them. You'll see, and sometimes you, sometimes it even it, it even makes you feel isolated because all of a sudden you're thinking that, how come that you're, you're the only one experiencing this kind of life? How come that everybody's doing something different? They're going on happily with their life. They're doing this, they're doing that. You cannot fit in. Your life is hard. You move from A to B. You cannot move to the next level. Your life has always been difficult. But that is because the secret why your life has always been difficult is because you're going through a specific training from the universe. So the universe is putting you through intensive training so for a chosen one, as you awake and you continue to follow your path and to discover your purpose and whatever, you are going to notice that whatever you have been and whatever, you, whatever your life experiences have always been, it has been a training from the universe because at some point you were supposed to do something that nobody else has ever done in your, uh, uh, along your journey. Nobody else around you has ever done and everybody is scared to do. So you saw a lot of these chosen ones, when they, when they, when they decide to go for something, they are unstoppable. When they say this is what I'm going to do and that is where I'm going, you cannot stop those individuals because number one, they have gone through intensive training from the universe. So the universe has trained them physically. It has put them through very many, many, many types of tests. A lot of chosen ones around the world, they have even experienced near-death experiences because they have reached that point whereby they have even seen their deathbeds. But for some reason, they came back up and fought again. So a chosen one is a person who has gone through intensive training and those individuals, they are unstoppable. That's why you saw a lot of times if you meet a lot of guys, they're like, wow, wow you know, who, do, who, who does she think she is? Who does he think he is? These kind of things. They point fingers at you. They try to scream around. They try to fight with you. They try to block your path. These nurses, they're coming in and they're destroying you. They're stealing. They're doing everything. No matter what people have done, let me tell you as a chosen one, no matter what people do, no matter how hard they try, they cannot bring you down because you're indestructible. Everything you do, you put your hand onto it. It has got to happen for you. It has got to come into fruition. So wherever you put your hand, you put a blessing. Whether it is a place, whether it is people, whether it, whatever it is, any place you enter, that place starts to experience different kinds of blessings. I can guarantee you as a chosen one, you are anointed, highly anointed, protected, you are guarded, and I can guarantee you that your life will always move to a different direction. You will always be doing things and going places that nobody has ever gone to in their entire lives. So if I've experienced these signs as a chosen one, I want to know which has been yours. Of course, I've shared many videos before about the signs that you chosen one. I just wanted to give you guys bonus signs that you chose chosen one. So if you have experienced most of those things I've said, being misunderstood and the fact that you're the glitch in the matrix, you can open your eyes and you can see all these illusions going on around you. 
and you can understand them for what they are you have always been uh, having the hardest in your life your life has, your life has always been the hardest look like it look as if each and every single day you're going through daily struggles that nobody can explain if you have seen some of those signs i want to know in the comment section below and i can guarantee you that it's not by coincidence that is because you are a chosen one you are different you always be different and you forever be different that is because you're meant for a higher calling you've got a higher calling ahead of your life and your life is supposed to move to a direction that nobody has ever has ever attempted to go before i'll know what you think about the, uh, the video in the comment section below guys let me know and book a session of course donate and support if you want to all the details you need in the description description uh, section below much love and blessings and i'll catch you in my next one peace